Now to run mediation, we go through the um, you know, SPSS analyze regression pro software again. Um, this time for mediation, what we're we're going to keep our DV as our outcome variable. This time I'm going to use uh, variable number five for the independent variable, and I'm going to use variable number six for my mediation variable. And since I want to run a mediation, in this case a simple mediation, I'm changing the model number to four. And once again, it's going to be running the uh, the bootstrapping. And on the options button, options radio button on the right hand side, there's a number of additional tables that you can pull for things such as effect size, um, interactions, interaction effect sizes, and such. Um, those are way beyond the scope of this uh, webinar today, so we're going to stay with the simple. But if you need to know more about those, I, I highly recommend you get Andrew Hayes' textbook. All right, so we get the same. Once you hit OK, we get the same <clears throat> output here. And once again, when we're looking at mediators, we actually see it's model 4, then it's the DV, the variable 5, the variable 6, sample size is 401. The output is actually on the bootstrapping. And we want to make sure that the bootstrapping confidence interval does not include the value of 0. And we'll look at that real quickly here. It puts out, the SPSS puts out a number of different tables, but what we're looking for is the indirect effect of our predictor on our outcome, which is x on y. We have our variable number 6. We look at the effect as being 0.1518. Um, this is the bootstrapping results. Um, we've got the standard error of the bootstrapping. And then we look at the lower limit and the upper limit of bootstrapping for the effect. Now, as long as in this output it was 0.1197 as the lower and then 0.1817 as the upper, since the confidence interval of, of the boot bootstrapping output does not include uh, the value of zero, then we would say that there is a significant a statistically significant output for variable number six. The variable number six is a mediator. So there is no, um, the output does not include a p-value. So we wouldn't write up about a p-value. We're just going to look at the, the confidence interval. So if it does not include the value of zero, then we would call it statistically significant or a significant result. So what we're looking at here just to get back to, to this drawing, we're actually looking at the indirect effect of the mediator on the relationship between the predictor and the outcome. And that's just, I just put this back up just, uh, just for a reminder of, of what we're actually trying to achieve. Now to run another analysis, uh, another variable, we're going to go back to SPSS, and this time we're going to swap out uh, variable number 6 for variable number 3. We'll keep everything else the same. We click on the OK button. We get our first output, which is those model four. We've got our DV, our variable number five is X, and then our mediator is, is variable number three. Sample size is the same. Here we have a non-significant result where the boot, the bootstrapping confidence interval includes the value of zero. And the indirect effect output, we can look at that. Our effect is pretty low. It's 0 0.003. There's our standard error. And we look at the lower, the, the bootstrapping confidence intervals which go from negative 0.0023 to positive 0.0042 so that includes the value of zero and it's a pretty narrow range so in that sense we would actually write this up as saying that independent value uh, independent variable number three is a non-significant is non significant or is not a mediator of the relationship between the predictor and the outcome we have our relationship between the predictor and the outcome, which is the direct effect is C in the purple arrow. The indirect effect of this particular mediator is not significant, so it really doesn't change the value of C. And if, once again, if you were to run these individually through multiple linear regression, you would actually see that there isn't really much of a change. So.